Now, the irony of all this is that the AFC thinks that this situation is in reverse. He believes that nice guys are the anomaly in a sea of jerks. Of course, he believes this because it's all his female friends talk about. They're jerk BFs and how nice they are for being good listeners. So his self-image gets validated and he believes he's unique and valuable for being not like other guys. And his patience and sensitivity will eventually pay off. <laughs> so his self-image gets validated and he believes he's unique and valuable for not for being not like other for being not like other guys and his patience and sensitivity will eventually pay off which it very well could once the object of his obsession has had her fun and possible <laughs> oh this is hilarious which it very well could once the object of his obsession has had her fun and possibly bred with the bad boy a new <laughs> a new world a new world jerk order another criticism leveled at game is a fear that nominally nice guys will take this lesson to heart and become a new social wave of intolerable assholes the fear is a new generation of arrogant pricks not being themselves all in order to hook up I understand the fear of a mass of men radically leaning their personalities towards the jerk end of the spectrum as prompted by the PUA or MRA, men's rights activist communities. Let me be the first to say those fears are unfounded. Guys don't search out the community, blogs, or forums because they're getting... <laughs> Let, let me be the let me <laughs> let me be the first to say those fears are unfounded guys don't search out the community blogs or forums because <laughs> <sighs> let me be the first to say those fears are unfounded Guys don't search out the community, blogs, or forums because they're getting too much pussy from being because they're getting too much pussy from being archetypal nice. In fact, in fact, the observation that more, shall we say, self-centered men seem to be getting laid most consistently is so prevalent that there's an entire section dedicated to it on the main So Suave webpage. This leads me to believe that a sudden paradigm shift to jerkness isn't remotely the threat anyone should fear. Nice guys, by definition, have a real tough time effectively pulling off acting like a jerk, much less genuinely converting their personalities to that of a jerk. Most men would prefer to inch toward the jerk end of the spectrum, if at all, and assuming they've come to believing things aren't as they previously believed. The more common mindset for beta males is to expect that women should appreciate them for being the nice, dependable, self-sacrificing guy that every woman <laughs> that every woman since his mother has told him he should be. It's far easier to believe that the world should change for you than to accept the truth that you need to improve yourself to get the things you want. It's the lazy man's path to disqualify or cheapen things that he desperately wants, but lacks the motivation to change himself to get.